Welcome back to the Where's the Dance videos that will show you how to take advantage of additional features. This one is going to talk to you about using our edit capabilities to make edits for already entered events. We're on the Schedules page, which is accessed via the Schedules link. We're logged in with the Unlocked lock. And in the club name, I'm going to enter in the name of a club that I'm allowed to enter or edit events for. I'm going to select the Phantom Squares, and up will pop their listing of their schedule. The January 9th event um, was going to exist, but the facility has now told us that they're going to be doing repairs. So we're going to have to mark that event as dark, meaning the lights are, are off, the door is locked. It isn't going to happen. If I click on the dark uh, light bulb, it changes it, removes it, it lets people know that yes, it typically is a date, but it's not going to happen, so don't go there. The facility later calls me up and says that they repaired the uh, facility earlier than they thought, so we can have our dance. I click again on the icon for the dark, and sure enough, um, the icon, the uh, event gets rewritten. If I have a special flyer for this single event, I can click on the flyer icon and up will pop a dialogue. If I'm going off to my computer and grab a, a flyer for that event, I can drag it into that area. I see the green plus. I let go. It adds it. It turns green. I say great. I close that and bingo. Um, we now have added a flyer specifically for that event. Um, if I have the uh, edit icon here, I can use that to make other changes. Perhaps I've changed the price. Perhaps I've changed a caller, uh, that kind of stuff. So I'm going to click on the edit, and I'm going to see um, the details of the event. I can't change the date, but everything else I can pretty much change if I need here. Maybe I want to change the levels of the dance. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. Um, maybe. Uh, the facility name. We had to move this location and we're going to change it and move it over to Wilkinson. I select that box. I type in um, the name of, um, of another facility. I click on that choice and bingo, I see the new address is there. Uh, I can change the contact name. I can change many different things. Uh, every time you select something, uh, recognize that uh, you will be selecting from the choices. So everything else looks good. I've changed the times as I might have needed, etc. I'm going to click on the complete and it'll tell me that's going to take a moment. Click OK. And sure enough, the dancers show, which tells me that everything went well. So the screen's going to get rewritten. And sure enough, we see our underlined items in the event name, which tells us that that in fact does have a attachment or a flyer. So clicking on that would bring up that flyer. Um, and then lastly, we have our delete icon. If I have mistakenly entered an event twice, obviously that event never should have been entered, so I would use the delete. If um, I entered it with the wrong date, I might have to use the delete. If I just have decided that, you know, we're not going to, we're not going to dance on that date because it is Christmas, or such a holiday, we're going to change it to dark and not to delete the event. But use the delete to make that event totally disappear from the listing. There you go. That's how you can access some of the additional features of editing events. Take care. We'll talk to you soon.